Okay, so this man with this red mask and a red hat, um, he's doing his own video because supposedly research shows 50% of women in serious relationships have backup partner already in mind. And then this man in this red mask goes on to show a news clip. Now, keep in mind, Fox has news in its title or whatnot, but Fox is also infotainment and many of its opinions are literally not news. So what I did, like, let's look up this whole thing. What research? These people take clips or take supposed research and then they just run with it without doing their own research. This man also, now this man here took that man's re research and stitched it and used it to have a jump off of stop getting married, stop getting married. And he used this research from this random source, no sources cited to, you know, give his diatribe, which as he said, it might sound bitter. And yes, it did sound bitter, but that's neither here nor there. Research happens daily. So let, let's just see what kind of research I could, I go to my Google machine and I type in 50% of women in a relationship have a backup partner. I pull that up. And what pops up is an article from Times of India. I don't see any actual scholarly um, articles or anything. I see Times of India. Okay, cool. Let me check into So here's the Times of India article talking about the backup partners or whatever. And if you look closely, it says, as reported by the Daily Mail. The Daily Mail is not really known to be a scholarly article, but let's look at what the Daily Mail said about it. Okay, so the Daily Mail article, which came out in September 2014, half of women have a fallback partner on standby. Okay, so this is the article that the Times of India is sourcing from 2014. Married women are more likely to have a plan B in the background. A backup is likely to be an old friend who has always had feelings for them. Other candidates include ex-boyfriend, husband, colleague, or gym buddy. It is important to understand sources. If you look at this page, the survey of 1,000 women also found Plan B is also like, they used a survey of 1,000 people back in 2014. And you got people, you have a news organization acting like this is real. You have a supposed news source on Twitter acting like it's real. And then you have men that are going to parrot this information as if it is real because people do not look into data sources. When someone says research says or data says, ask, have you looked into the data? Because this is a survey of 1,000 women from, and the article is from 2014. How relevant do you really think this is? Now, if you want to just have an opinion that 50% of all women and just say that that is your opinion, cool. But this is not actual research because a thousand women does not, is not representative of a globe that has billions of people. Please learn how to source your materials because this is ridiculous. And and research, even if it was a bigger sample size, research from 10 years ago based on a survey is not going to be relevant. Please try harder, men.